I mean, and you know, coming back to this notion of of automation, right? And so we have we have certainly new opportunities that are being opened up for for people who are working in the field of data science and so many of these new opportunities. But what 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 do you say to to folks who may be concerned about automation and AI, um, where they're concerned, they think it's, it may have an impact on mm -hmm. kind of the, the number of jobs that are available in, in, these, in this industry. And I think that's a legitimate concern for people, but from the conversations that we've had, you know, you all seem very positive on this, and so I'd like to hear your thoughts on kind of where do you see the difference? Tim, you want to start us off? Sure. I, I think, uh, you know, my view on this is that you know, really what we are trying to drive here in terms of business result is really growth. Growth for manufacturers like Micron, growth for, for equipment makers like LAM Research. And so, you know, growth in our industry is actually accomplished by uh, continuously driving more efficient and more effective manufacturing. It's been the history of our industry for more than 50 years, mm -hmm. and I think it will continue to be in the future. And so, the reason I'm positive is if we are successful in, in upskilling the workforce and implementing equipment intelligence and smart manufacturing, uh, the industry will grow. The, the demand for NAND, in fact, there's a virtuous cycle. You just heard Kuhn talk about the, we are not only uh, generating data that needs to be stored and analyzed, we're actually also building the solutions that help store and analyze that data. And so mm -hmm. I think you're gonna see that uh, pervasiveness throughout all industries and, you know, for me, it just is a, this is a growth business and a job creator. Mm -hmm.